Well, hello everyone, Dylan here with my here with another Lego Harry Potter 2023 review, and this was on the Slytherin House banner set, which has also been released, of course. So on the front of the box here, which of course same size as the previous Hogwarts Moment sets, but of course these sets five dollars more than that. Uh, yeah. So on the front of the box we which had the Lego Harry Potter logos and Wizarding World logo. And then 3D images that they're inside, and also everything that's going on there. And recommended ages is nine and up. Set number uh, 76410 has 349 pieces. And so sideways picture of everything opened up, and also the 3D images thing, and add for all the sets, which I am also reviewing, and that's about it, of course. Now, onto the instruction booklet, which opened up picture and the white-gray rendering again, like we've seen on most recent sets, of course. There's how Legos switching over to paper bags and add for the builder app, of course. On the back, how to win on the online survey. And then all the pieces that come with the set. And then add for all the banner sets of this wave, of course. And then last building steps, of course. Now onto the three minifigs included. <laughs> All right. First up, we have Draco Malfoy, who of which. We're with torso print and face printing, kind of similar to what we've had in previous sets, and hair piece also the same as in previous sets. But at least nice to see this appear again in a kind of cheap set, and of course wielding the black wand, of course. <coughs> and the next to which we have is Pansy Parkinson, who which is probably exclusive to this set, but of course good to have here, like. And of course, having that uh, hair piece that Wonder Woman previously once had, but in dark brown. And I'm pretty sure the face printing might have came from somewhere, some other minifig, but pretty sure it's, or maybe it's exclusive here, but could be wrong. And also have the traditional uh, Hogwarts student outfit with the Slytherin colored tie on it, of course. And then last of which we have is Blaze Zabani. Yeah. Which, as you can see, for the uh, torso printing, kind of similar to what some other figs kind of had, but of course, this is which the green Slytherin version of that, of course. And face printing, who's, which I think is exclusive to him, and also hair piece, nice to see included on, his, on this, of course, in, instead of just Miles Morales, of course. And also, not at all the uh, like printings, which kind of a common thing with this current wave, of course. And on the back sides, which, and of course, just two of which have double side face prints when, when Blaze kind of just doesn't. But of course, it would kind of stand out a lot if he didn't. And I guess that is about it with the three mini things included. And now on to the three D image part of this. Okay. So now, as you can see, it's still lenticular. And of course has Salazar Slytherin, one of the founders of Hogwarts, but with the snake around him, and of course, angry, happy, kind of smiling to him. 
and have a, a green curtain above and also a couple of uh, wolf eyes above which in bold signs of course also a little uh, fireplace kind of which the flames also move and of course a little mantelpiece with the potion and book on it and and of course a little shelf with some books and the trophy on it and also saying Tom Riddle was here since of course probably where Tom Riddle's diary was and on this side you have a little window and also oh it looks to be like the underwater part of Black Lake of course but however kind of neat this one is Okay. And now onto the actual set itself. And of course, similar, kind of the same build as all the other house banner sets. And also like the others, it was just oh, three bricks thick of that. So you can like, so which don't, if you don't like having a lot of room for these, but yeah. And of course for the exterior, which do you have, which is in dark green with the light gray kind of bordering around and also with the a large center kind of piece here but with the Slytherin symbol on it and of course nice use of those like corner pieces and uh, angle pieces but kind of neat design to that but yeah and of course and like the others of which you can like open right upwards like so and a couple of accessories of this where you can like, which unlike with the last one I reviewed, the Gryffindor one, where the accessories are like, are kind of like, like, which there's not very many accessories to that, but instead just a little bit extra for that. Unlike with that Gryffindor one, just one, of course. And at least you do get a little bit extra, of course. So like this one extra bit, which is of course this table that's made of just a round couple of round plates and collectible minifig stand plates, of course. And also you get this little chair build with those rounded kind of bricks on top, of course. And also a couple of studs there to see the minifig on to, of course. And on this side of which, I have a couple like little stairs that are kind of blending with the hinge of that. Yeah, a little staircase that just goes right up to this empty doorway. And of course, with those uh, corner plate pieces put to some good use there. <clears throat> and of course nice to see these pieces in light gray to them. And above of which is of course the uh, creature eye there. But in two different ways of course. And also some of those common cone pieces but in uh, trans green, nice to see. And as for this uh, little shelf kind of area, which does have a couple of these uh, corner plate pieces and a Nexa Knight's shield piece, but with the Slytherin symbol on it, and also this lower shelf mantle area, which has oh, also a little thing you can take out. Oh, which is a little a uh, corner shelf with a like little jar of some kind, and also a Slytherin coin of some kind. But yeah, but also this area this which has a couple of plates that hold these uh, mini fig skull piece on their foot, kind of which you can really take out since it's part of the build, of course, and also a clip area or clips that hold both a chalice and a uh, little coral pen on there. Into this section, 
which opened these two part up and it shows the Tom and it says Tom Riddle was here, of course. And also, do you have a couple like little stand kind or little light kind of things which you can also take out and all, but also with those glow pieces, but in uh, green as well. And above which is window with the, the fish swimming through it, and of course the sows are slithering up there again. But also do you have a couple of the snake uh, sculptures above, like we've seen in the Chamber of Secrets sets, of course, and the classic snake piece in green. And of course, and same kind of thing with the cone pieces again, and. Also down below is a couple of reverse tile pieces, but with some stickers on it, one of which with Snape, of course. And then down below, we would have a, a little bookshelf, but one of which that looks kind of like the one of the recent uh, Hogwarts Moments sets, of course. It's kind of interesting to see that there, but yeah. And also do have a little horn and crystal ball on there. And of course, this represents a little seating area to that. And also, probably what's probably a little mirror of some kind, but but it's not an actual mirror, of course. So at least, so some good stuff going off with it. But yeah. So now on to the final word. So overall, I think this is which a, a quite good set for how it is. Like, get plenty of stuff representing Slytherin, and of course, this is a Slytherin related one. But and of course, do get Draco Malfoy in a cheap set yet again. But also, do get a couple exclusive mini things in this set, of course. But also, for the like hidden Easter eggs that there are, at least it does kind of well for that. But also. Kind of nice that at least we did get one little Easter egg of one of the recent Hogwarts Moment sets included in this one. But yeah. And also, kind of nice to see some wa underwater theming with the 3D image backdrop, of course. So, and of course, nice. And of course, good to see some interesting designs going on in this one. But yeah. And so now, if you are looking to get this set for your collection, also definitely pick it up. And if you are in the House of Slytherin, also pick it up. And that's about it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.